Hello. Hi there. We are ready to start a new series today. I'm so excited about this one. And we are in Stockholm, Sweden. Yay! Check it out. Country I've thought about, but I don't think I've ever thought of myself being here. So how neat is this? And look, it's chilly, so we are both wearing coats or jackets rather. Yeah, there's still some snow on the ground. Let's jump into some culture, some history, some good food. And see what kind of adventures we can get into. I have a lot of things marked on the Google list. I yeah, this is gonna be super cool. And we're here all week. Yes, let's go check it out. First impression so far. The, I really like it. The the trains, the the metro, the rail, the tube, whatever you want to call it, it's really efficient. And very much on time. There's tons of trains or metros that run consistently, so you could you you're only waiting for tops like three or four minutes. Yeah. So we're here at our first stop. We're at the Globin stop. And what are we doing here? We are gonna ride a glass gondola at this tourist attraction called Skyview. And it's pretty neat because this is supposed to be the world's largest spherical globe. So I don't know, I'm kind of intrigued to find out what it's about. Interesting. We're so, supposed to get great views. Okay, so we're gonna be getting views of the city. Yes. Across this globe thing. That kind of like glides around the building. Okay, let's check it out. <laughs> If I understood this correctly, we're going to be going up that globe along the side there in some kind of glass cart. But, oh, I see it moving, okay. All right, then that's, that's what it is. Yeah, let's do this. Ooh. It's pretty cold. Not as cold as some of the other places we've been to lately, but this is all right. How do you do that? So it's kind of like the eye, just around the globe. Yeah. All right, let's check it out. Yes. Feel the chatter? It's tickets. I know I'm saying it wrong, guys. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, and did you see the massive big bite to... that fell off the side? No. I'll get this word down this week. <laughs> well, we have to hear it first. <laughs> yeah. Inside of it is a hockey arena, yes. which can turn into a concert hall. They also did like special dining events, some galas, conferences, lots of really, so it's a whole compound of event buildings.
what a view. Yeah, the view is really city. pretty. Look, there's the home of Sweden's most influential daily newspaper. And they have a science center, city hall, which we're going to visit this week. And then Old Town. Yeah. <laughs> so we're we're curving, but you can't feel it at all. It doesn't feel any different, really. It's fast, but it's not like too slow, right? I like yeah. it. So how much was this experience? We paid three hundred and forty Corona. Coronas, yes. Which I think is going to be around thirty dollars. We'll have to do the math. You know, that, that was that was cool. I mean, it, the views that you get is similar to like an eye or like a 360 experience at Perlin in Iceland, but it's gimmicky because it's on the outside of this spherical arena and you go up these tracks, which I, I have to imagine getting the tracks there and building this. Well, and they were showing how they had to bring in helicopters for different parts of the track. Yeah, I, I can certainly appreciate that. And the entire time that we're doing the video and learning about the different type of events that are here and the different venues, I'm just thinking of like a WrestleMania week here <laughs> with Raw in one building and then SmackDown in another one and then... Ooh, you think they've ever done it? That would be pretty cool. But I mean, honestly, it's a great way to use the building when they don't have an event going on. So it's smart of them. Yeah, I mean, you get some great views and you, you see everything. All right, but I think now we're gonna stop and get some coffee, maybe a pastry. Our first, ooh, I think it's called the Semla, right? I think that's what their pastries are called. We're gonna hit up Nespresso House. Yeah, let's go get some pastries. Okay, we came in for our coffee and pastries. I got a croissant and MJ has a, a Kenbula. <laughs> wow, something like that. No, I think that's how it is. Sure. Ken Kenbula, yeah. I think it's like a cinnamon roll. That's what it, it smells like cinnamon. I don't know what that white stuff is. You think Bite it's salt? It. You gotta tell us, is it sweet? Is it salty? Is it both? It's warm. very sweet so I think that's just like sugar just bigger sugar yeah okay okay let me steal that one Let's see what this is about mm. Mm -hmm. that's yummy I can get used to these kind of pastries we'd be all hopped up on sugar all day <laughs> I like this. So they, they didn't ask for a size. It was just, <laughs> this is the size you're getting. And I got a hazelnut latte with soy. I got a chai latte. All right, try out your chai. What do we got? That's delicious. It's... Okay. Yeah. Mm hmm Let's eat. Boom. What'd you think? Ah, it hit the spot. I needed that little extra to keep me awake. That was, that was solid, wasn't it? Yes. Well, as it turns out, this coffee shop is like in a mall. So before we go to our next stop, I think we're gonna 
check out some of the stores here, see if there's anything interesting, and then go to our next stop, which you'll see soon. For the next stop on our day one, we were headed to the library. Someone wanted to check out some books, which is great. <laughs> and then we came out of the station and we saw this church here and thought, oh wow, let's go check it out. So what what is it? It's called the Gustav Vasa Church. And it looks like as beautiful as it is outside, it's also very beautiful inside. It's one of the largest churches here in Sweden and it dates back quite some time. I'm trying to figure out right now if it's Church of Sweden. Mm. Cool little area. While we find our actual guy? stop. He's wearing uh, warmers there. Huh. was really nice. They are doing a lot of construction Massive in there construction. though. construction. I mean, good, good on them. But yes, confirmed it is Church of Sweden. Very nice. Nice. So now, getting back on track, we've got to find this library so you can get your book. Which I believe is that circular building over there. Mm. Way off into the <laughs> distance past the cool Odin Plan station. That's really mm. neat. Well, some context as we walked to the library, there you are, we came to the Odin Plan area. Yes. That was and a metro stop. Again, metro for the win because we're moving around with expertise. So easy. The metros are very clean, very safe. And we always find seats available. They, there may not be like two next to each other, but we find seats. This is what you get when you come out there. So a lot of shops, some restaurants, bookstores, wine places, a supermarket, an office, office depot. depot. <laughs> I've seen a lot of flower shops, like outdoor flower shops too, which kind of brightens up the city. It's really pretty. The colors are so beautiful. Look at this one. How pretty. Yeah. And we haven't tried the bus yet or the ferry boats, but we've been seeing the buses all around and I would imagine those are as efficient as the I'm rail. I'm not gonna lie, I'm excited about taking the ferries. Yeah, that'll be fun. They do say that Stockholm is the Venice of the North, so I am looking forward to testing that theory or... They say that because it's built on several islands. Ooh, we've arrived. Oh, cool. So here it is, let's see what's inside. So the library was fantastic. It was so much better than what I even pictured. So I'm so glad that we made that stop. It was really impressive. Yep. Over 2 million copies are kept in that library. Did you know that? Yeah, it's kind of wild. Solid first day in Stockholm, Sweden. I mean, first impressions. God, I love how easy it is to get around the city. The efficiency of the Metro, my favorite. I love a city that has good transportation. Well. We've got a lot more planned, some cool stuff that we're gonna get into, so we'll see you in the next one. See ya.